Welcome to Attican Plays Railroad Corporation. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to our second series on railroad construction. I want to go back and do it again because I really enjoy the game, in spite of the, you know, some of the flaws it needs to fix and, and what have you. Uh, I really enjoy the game, and, I, I, and um, I wanted to do it again. I'm still into it. And what we're going to do, though, is kind of make it a little more interesting because it's a little too easy right now. It, it really is once you get the mechanics down. So we're going to eliminate passenger and mail traffic. No, I'm not. This We're a freight company. And the reason I'm doing that is if you have passenger and mail, when you get up to those later um, missions and you have decent trains, I mean one line and you're done you got your economy we're not well i don't want to do that so we're going to go in as old harrington again but this time no passenger mail no uh no, no passenger traffic no mail traffic and uh, then we're going to set goals for each of these missions so let's start this first one so hot steel for cincinnati we know we have to eventually send five carriages of steel to cincinnati and um so what we're going to do in this one, again, no passengers, no mail, and our goal is to have 100% of the John Bull research done. That's the second train. We're going to skip the, the best friend, go to the John Bull, and have it completely researched before we finish this mission. And we're going to finish the mission before the tightest time frame. That's our goals. So let's see what we can do to make that happen. All right, so we've got $100,000, blah, blah, blah. Now, what I'm not going to do in this series is walk through the mechanics of the game, uh, you know, the real basics of the game, because uh, I did that in the first series. So I encourage you to go back and watch that first series. Pretty decent gameplay. I mean, I'm still, you know, learning the game. I was trying to do some things that you would do in a more mature railroad game, and I don't think that necessarily fits here. Well, what am I doing? So the first thing we're going to do here, we said we wanted to research the John Bull and we wanted to uh, get it completely researched. So we're going to upgrade our office and put in R&D. Unfortunately, we can only go to level one, but that'll have to do. So we are going to do all locomotives power, which is the one that allows us to move to the next chain, which is the John Bull. And we're going to put everybody on it. And then we gotta hurry, so we're really gonna rush and get trains out there and go get them, aren't we? Nope, we're just gonna sit here. We're gonna sit here until that research finishes. We got 17 more days. When that research is finished, then we'll have the opportunity to research the John Bull. We won't have it yet, but we will be able to research it. Okay, now we're going to start research on that. We're going to put everybody on that research. So now we've got 10 people doing that. We need two months, and what are we going to do now? Get our trains rolling? No, we're just going to sit here until we have the John Bull. And let me just explain what the, the strategy is going to be to, to make all this work. We've got a wheat field out here. Now, unfortunately, in this first mission we can't buy anything but that's that would be what we would do if we could but we're going to go out here to this wheat field grab wheat take it to this farm to produce meat take the meat back to bowling green okay it's a gimme they, the, the little town of gold bowling green takes meat so here we produce meat we're going to sell it to bowling green so we're going to run wheat to the farm meat to bowling green and just keep running that's going to be what makes us our money all right, we've got 20, we've got to wait 22 more days, about three more weeks, and, and we'll have ourselves, we can start having a business. And we're not going to build anything and have to pay upkeep on, on stations or anything like that. We're just going to wait. There you go. There's some upkeep on our headquarters. They want us to construct a repair shop. We will be happy to do that when the time comes. All right, our research completed. Now we can start playing the game. All right, so we've got the John Bull researched. Let's 
So what we're going to do is build a line between our two cities and then we're going to run off of that line where's our farm and be careful not to build any bridges or tunnels And then we're going to run a little line like so to hook it all up. And that gives us the simplest of uh, T or Y junctions, whatever you want to call them. All right, now we can grab our first train, and of course it's going to be the John Bull. And it's going to go out here and grab us four wheat, take them to this small farm, Mm, let's start with all of them. The farm, I think, pays more. Yes, pays more than the city. Then we are going to grab three meat and take that to Bowling Green. And we don't have to have it right this minute. We'll go ahead and put it in the repair shop so I don't forget it and set up repairs on this guy when he gets back to Bowling Green and go. Okay, now we've got money, let's start firing off research. Now we go negative because we have to buy all this stuff. We had to pay for the wheat. But the money we spend on the wheat, we get back in profit here. Then we spend some of that profit to buy the meat from the uh, small farm here. We have a little delay this first time because, uh, well, it's the first time. And then uh, the second time we'll have a shorter delay. And by the third time we come in here, by our third run, uh, we won't have to wait at all. We'll be able to just move. And yes, Olive, I am sorry I'm spending the money too fast. But you'll notice when we get down here and sell that meat for 7000 a pop, uh, that's 21 grand of income, which is a lot of money when, we, when you're in a little economy like this, in a little <laughs> mess. Three, four, and five. I'm like, I'd like to have five going at once. We'll just put, we'll have five teams of two doing this research. There we go. So again, we make a little money on the wheat. We spend most or some, some portion of that profit on the, um, buying the meat that we're going to export. See how we went negative again? But by the time we get back to the end here, it's a very profitable run. And we want to avoid that overdraft. 7% interest, I think it's 7% of the day. It's a lot. You get If you get into the red and, start and find yourself staying there for more than a couple of uh, trips of this thing, you're dead. You're dead. Because see, we had to spend money on our uh, supplies for the train. Then we had to spend money to buy the wheat or the grain. No, it is wheat. Wheat. And now we're taking the wheat in and you know, you, you get the idea. So we're going to let this run until we have enough money to start going up this way. So the plan next is after we get this going, we're just going to try to keep this research going. One, two, three, four. We need to start another one. Five. Keep all your scientists working. Thirty grand is not quite enough. 
But all this time, this, this John Bull running is getting better and better as we improve it. It's costing us less to run because of, because of some of the research. It's going faster because of some of the research. And what we're not really, it doesn't quite get to the point where it could haul a bigger load, I don't think. Let's see here. No, not yet. Let's see what it's going to cost us to go up this way. Twenty-two. Yeah, we can do that. And in fact, we can start another train now. We can get another John Bull, have it go up here, and bring coal back to Bowling Green. And that'll pay us thirty-nine sixty. We're paying. 1200 so we'll make about was it 2700 yeah about 2700 per over 7000 profit for each time this train runs there we go we're back in the black and let's check on our research one, two, three, four, we need to start another one. One, two, three, four, we need to start another one. I don't think there's another one to start. Oh yes, yes, this one. We wanna have the opening so that we can go to the next train in the next mission. It won't let us in this one. Okay. 18,000. And we got enough money, good deal. So let's repurpose T2. Let's tell T2, don't go to Bowling Green anymore. Go to the steel mill and drop off your stuff. And we are going to put a repair facility in the steel mill. And we'll tell T2 to get your repairs done there now. We still got our five going. We're we're getting there. We're looking good. Looking good on the research. Starting to make a little profit. Oh, and what we could do. haul that coal back to Bowling Green. Since that line's there, we might as well use that line. Four, we need to start another one. We'll start that one. Okay, let's see what it would cost us to get over here. Twenty-six. All right, we'll wait till we have twenty-six. Eh, well, we do. All right, now let's see here. Let's stop. let's have T two now. I just you don't need that one anymore. You're gonna start unloading ore which you get right there. 
and I'm gonna tell it go to Winchester when I hit up after I hit apply so go now it'll probably I'm a little late so it'll go up here and come back but that's okay all right so now we've got an ore train running now what we can do is take T3 once he gets down here and unloads two three pause now we want him to uh, he can become our coal train even though right right we technically don't even need one but we can make money on it so okay so he has a new assignment and we may as well uh, let's go up here Search. That's all we've got left. We've got everything queued up to be researched. We're still this one train is the foundation of our whole business here. We know we're going to Cincinnati. Let's get that ready. Okay, now what now when they want steel in Cincinnati. So what we're gonna do now is take these three trains and If I'm capable of it, T2, once you're around, uh, once you load one steel, and unload one steel, that's T2. T4. You can load two steel. And unload two steel. And train three. Can load two steel. And unload two steel. And we'll watch whichever one's our last one. <laughs> How's our research? We've got two left. T4, thank you for your service. T3, oh my goodness.
Yeah, we got plenty. Of <laughs> We're gonna make this easily, but that was pretty stupid, wasn't it? T three's going back. What's this one doing? He's got one. So T three will have two. Might as well start making us money again. And have we finished everything? Here comes our last one. Good deal. So we're going to have all of our research done. Whoops. Could have made that better. Everybody, get to work. There we go. Now we've got all of our research done on the John Bull. And we've got a train going up there to deliver two steel. And there we go. So, what did we do? Well, we, well, we hit every objective. We did no passenger mail, and uh, we got our entire John Bull completely upgraded so that it, we're ready to go into the next mission in great shape. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railroad Corporation video. Thank you.